definitely crazy. I mean, I've never seen anything like this. Well, we're in the truck. We're all loaded up. The whole family's here. Pig is here. Oh, that's so Say hello, Pig. Hello, Pig. She is always the co-pilot, always keeping an eye out. Sim's in the back. You can't even hardly see Sim. You can't see her. Ever since. Way okay. back. She's way back there. You can't even see Sim. There's, there's Pum. Sim's back there. So we're going to the Outer Banks, uh, as always, our favorite spot. Now, we haven't gone. We made a pact that we were going to try to go once a month. And uh, the whole situation kind of ruined that. We haven't been there in about three or four months now. Um, but we're going back for the first time. Should be great. I think North Carolina is a little more open than we are. Uh, we already checked our favorite places open to get food, so that's good. That's like the number one thing is getting food. Um, so anyway, we're on our way, and we should be there in about six and a half hours if all goes according to plan. cannot believe that there are Frenchies here. We like rarely see Frenchies, so it's pretty cool. to the Outer Banks, Mike found this playlist on YouTube like three years ago and we would listen to it on our trips here and um, the camera is absolutely not focusing and the playlist got copyrighted but the description was still up of it and it had some of the songs in the description and I went looking for them everywhere and I finally found like a few of them so if you guys want to listen to like some good jams these songs are awesome I, I just love them so like anytime that we're here we'll listen to it and it's a lot of fun like anytime you play the songs then like if you're not at the beach anytime we play the songs like if we're not at the beach it like brings you back to it. it's kind of like a scent like if you wear a perfume on a really special day and then you spray it another day you'll have like flashbacks to that time I'm sure I'm sure everyone has a beach playlist yeah if so you, know, you gotta have a beach playlist well th these songs are really really awesome so you guys should listen to them I love them we are going to get to the house unload everything put it in the elevator put everything in the elevator and just send it upstairs so we don't have to carry it up and then we're gonna get bros for dinner because we are very very hungry which I've said a million billion times okay well we do have some flooding here once again you guys remember if you saw my channel I had a whole video about it when it was really bad like the road was flooded out under like a foot and a half of water that guy's driving through it deliberately up there he's having a blast um, but this is pretty typical now this is pretty deep right here you can see now the roads not let's say the roads maybe four or five inches but the sides of it are real bad all right we got the bros secure it's home, we got our wings, the Cali clubs, chili cheese fries, sweet potato fries, 
It is gonna be banging. The girls are so ready to bum and get a bunch of little side treats of it. We're about to devour this meal. Good morning. <laughs> Hi, baby. It is a gorgeous day out today. It's the next day. It's super, super nice out. The weather is just really, really nice. So Piglet and I have been laying on the couch, reading, just listening to the waves. And now I'm gonna make some breakfast. And then Mike and I are gonna go out on the beach and get some sun, cause it is just too gorgeous not to be out on the beach. What are you doing? Uh, I'm not cleaning up our mess or anything. Gina's over here making some pancakes, pouring some milk. I like filming. See, I could get behind filming more if I got to hold the kid. I feel like I'm on the news. I feel like I'm on the news. I'm holding the. Where's the Where's the mirror at? This is me filming here. So I'm just walking around the house like this. It's pretty pretty legit, I would say. But um, yeah, gals are chilling. We're about to eat some pancakes. We the first day here, we like just really enjoyed the day. But this is how we're ending our night, having dessert, pancakes. Pancakes, it's gonna be some heat. We have the Aunt Jemima mix, and good old Aunt Jemima butter rich uh, oh, sauce, Jemima. sauce here. That's some good, so that's I gonna be some heat. Right, Peggy? Oisha Peggy, oh my God. Piglet is always standing next to me, helping me cook. <laughs> She's always expecting something to drop, I'm sure. After making those pancakes that we made like a few videos ago, recreating TikToks, this is the only way I make my pancakes now. They have to be like quarter size. I just love them really tiny. So this is how I'm gonna be eating mine. Mike already scarfed his down so they're gone. And uh, Piggy is still over here, just very persistent because she just wants pancakes so bad. Another gorgeous, gorgeous day. Piggy and I are making some breakfast for the fam squad. We're gonna have a really good breakfast and sit out and look at the gorgeous ocean and just enjoy this fine morning. We got to see the sunrise. I got some footage of that. I hope it's good. God, you guys, I have to show you the funniest thing ever. So I'm sitting here eating breakfast and the girls are bumming. And every time I lift up food, they both lick their chops and it is so freaking funny. So, as soon as you see their tongues come out, that means I'm lifting up the food. Every single time I pick up this piece of bread, their tongues come out. These girls, they make me laugh every second of the day. Lighthouse. This is something that we like love to do. It's oh, super favorites. pretty. Uh, we were really hoping that it wasn't going to be closed because, as you know, we've been hiking a lot lately. I'm sorry if there's a wind. Up the steps. That's a little breezy. Um, but you know, we've been hiking a lot, so we wanted to see how easy it would be to get up the lighthouse. But it's closed, so I'm, I'm curious to see what this sign is going to say. We're going to go read the sign real quick. It must be because of the current uh, situation. I'm assuming there's lots of people, lots of doggies. Just as we predicted, closed because we all have to social distance. I guess you can drive social on the beach so you don't have to get the permit. It says. That's pretty cool, we should go for a ride on the beach. I'm always begging Mike to go for a ride on the beach, but he like refuses it's to take this a, new Duramax no, no, on the no, beach. No, no, it's a hassle <laughs> to air it down. All oh my God, you're dramatic. It's such a 55 pounds of air in the tires. <laughs> super, super bummed that safety first. Sorry. Wow, you guys just got an epic shot of my double chin. <laughs> super bummed that it was closed. I kind of figured it was, so I was that ready was to be fun, disappointed. Man. But like, man, I just really wanted to see how we could 
got up there. How many stairs is there? I think it's like 270 something stuff. We got up there in I think three minutes and two seconds when we were when we did it like the first time ever. We were in worse shape. Well she probably oh my was God, in the same like, shape. I'm, I was in bad shape. Definitely worse shape. But Mike's brother didn't think that we could get up there in three minutes. And I was like, oh easily. So I timed it. This was years ago. But I timed it and we got up there pretty fast. I'm trying to find the screenshot, so let me just find that real quick. Three minutes. Yeah, three minutes and three seconds. So I took the screenshot and then sent it to his brother and he was super salty. He couldn't believe that we got up there in three minutes. Yeah. But really, it's, it's not bad. So that's why I wanted to see like how easy it would be with how many hikes we've been taking. It's and that easy. hawk rock, we take the hard side, it is just brutal, so. And with weights on. It's just a shame. Yeah, we've been carrying weights up. Mike takes the plate carrier, puts weights in his book bag. So, oh well. Speaking of being in shape, we're about to go buy some chocolate. Oh yeah. <laughs> Whenever I started this channel, I think like the first two videos was us coming here. So if you guys have been following along, you know that we go to the lighthouse and then we go to this toy store, which is right by the lighthouse, and we get chocolate. They have lots of nice chocolates. Oh, it's so fancy and good. So now we're gonna go get chocolate, and then we're probably gonna get some bros, and then we're gonna get ice cream tonight. So it's gonna be a health day. This remember is really how like we were just saying retreat, that we're like really, really healthy and everything? It's a health retreat, is what this vacation is. It's fun. It's so much fun. I really, I'm really enjoying myself. So literally, right over there is the right. toy store. See, see what I'm talking about? Incredible. Pretzels, my weakness. Salted caramel, absolute weakness. Mike really likes the banana one too. We've got a lot of chocolate. Mmm, yummy. Oh God. Yum. Not only does she have gorgeous handcrafted chocolates, but we also went to like the Candyland bar and got candy. And then I can't resist sour punch straws. That's just I gotta get them. So. We really, really splurged, and we didn't even go up the lighthouse no. to reward ourselves. We're just rewarding ourselves. I'm going to come back and be five pounds heavier for sure. If I know you at? think that this is off-roading, but really, Where are we at? no, we're not going to the beach. The beach what is, is this? the other way. We're going to the sound side. He considers this going on the beach. This is the beach. I'm Come on, everybody right support now. me in the comments below. This is nothing. I'm literally driving on the sand. I'm, I'm not... talking about Aaron Down going in the deep sand oh. next to the waves. Oh my god. Not this weak oh stuff. I still love this trail though. We come back here a lot. Wow. What are we doing you, right now? You, you are. Hear that, you can hear that turbo. You are really getting wild. and I'm so upset. I totally forgot to bring the camera along and I hate filming on my phone. It just is like, I feel like it's just horrible quality for a vlog. So I really just hate filming with my phone. I went to my favorite little coffee shop on the island this morning. I took a nice walk to it. They have the most amazing, ginormous homemade cinnamon buns and I had to get one. I also went to a little store next to it and I didn't take Piglet because it was a little too warm today, but I'm going to take her back later this week because the lady was like really upset that I didn't bring her. But I got her a cute little OBX t-shirt. That was my card falling out. It's the cutest thing. So I figured she should be repping her favorite place because oh my God, you guys, she's a totally different dog down here. She absolutely loves it. But I wanted to get Mike a little thing boyfriend because I love him so much he's asleep right now that's why I'm whispering and you guys aren't gonna like really be able to see it but there's a cinnamon bun in there it's his favorite and I wanted to just do something little you know the littlest things count that's what we do for each other like we don't like really get presents I feel like just randomly like you know how like people show up with flowers i mean he gets me flowers randomly but god this is like a horrible i'm trying to think of an example 
like i don't know guys get like girls jewelry randomly or girls will get guys like sports tickets randomly he's not into sports we're into food i feel like this whole vlog is us talking about food i'm so sorry like if you're not into food and you're annoyed of hearing about it you're gonna have to stop watching because literally that's all mike and i talk about sorry it's probably pretty annoying but that's our life so that's what we talk about but um we get each other food like he will text me and be like i have a surprise for you and then he'll come home with chipotle or tonino's our favorite pizza shop and that's just like what we do for each other so i wanted to do a cute little surprise for him he's not gonna expect it at all he honestly doesn't even know about the coffee shop he doesn't know that that's like a thing that i love because he's always asleep and i just go and do it <laughs> so he's gonna be really really surprised and my mouth is salivating thinking about it because their cinnamon buns are still stinking good but i'm going to try and go back this week so i can film it for you guys because really it's super cute and i was really upset not to like show you guys and have you guys with me so and i'm gonna take piglet because that lady really wants to see her She's doing zoomies on the couch right now. <laughs> so I'm going to make some breakfast. I'm probably going to have some eggs with my Cinnabon. And that's the plan. That's what I'm going to do. Go make some breakfast. Right, so we are on our way to go see a shipwreck. Well, we're going to try to find this crazy oh, shipwreck. exciting. And I don't think we have ever showed you guys where we first met. And we're about to pass it right now. So my family went on a little family vacation back in 2012 and Bobby brought Michael along and I brought my friend Morgan along and because you know you bring you know friends along on your family trips and we met on that vacation and that house oh, right the there earth. is where it all started. Started we met. when we were just little children. I was just I was, going into high school, <laughs> and I was 18. So when she says we met, it's not like we started dating then. Just to be clear, no, we didn't start I was, dating. I was 18, and you were what, 14? Yeah, like 14. I don't know. Yeah, 14. Yeah. 14. That's where it all began. That's why, and that's probably one of the reasons why we like the Outer Banks so much. I mean, this just yeah. a, it's our favorite place. Yeah, we all. I have very many memories from that. Trip. I got to ride in his Mustang. I had a Mustang at the time. For the first time, I felt really special. I felt like a bad ASS. It was really slow. Oh my god, he was like. I thought it was fast. It was <laughs> an old three valve. We we were on our way back from mini golfing, and he's like, "What's the fastest you ever gone?" I lied, and I said, "I think I think I said 125," which that never happened. And that Mustang could about barely get up to 125. So he floors it and he was like we reached 135 there which was probably <laughs> a huge lie huge lie oh my god it's just it's so funny to talk about especially because like the speeds that we've gone now with the mclaren back, and now, that, now that i know what an actually fast car is uh, but back then you know it's just really fun to look back on really stupid childish things because kids are super weird this is a weird age. The last time we were here was in February, maybe March, I don't know. But the day that we left, there was a really, really, really bad storm, raining, super bad winds. The ocean was like wild, wasn't it? Yeah. It was super crazy. Really bad. And the main bridge to get off of the island, there was a ship. Like, it looked like it was coming in the shore. Yeah, and it went like right up to the beach and I, and I was like that just happened babe like look at that there's a shipwreck over there and we couldn't believe what we it. were seeing and there was lights still blinking on it you could still see like people on it like looking over the edge like holy crap we just crashed yeah, by that time there was lights still on the thing yeah and we were like we literally just saw a shipwreck and it's pretty cool because there's a lot around here and we're hoping that it stays here like permanently so we can tell our kids one day like we saw that literally I'm happen. sure they're gonna remember I can't believe it hasn't been removed already. I know we couldn't believe it was here whenever we came on this trip so I'm very excited to see it we were gonna go see it the day of but we were kind of wanting to just get home because we were really sad about leaving and it was super rainy so it's gonna be cool to at least see it today I'm blocking you guys from the wind we made it I hope it's working it's really windy about 40 50 miles an hour but uh we made it and this is pretty sick definitely crazy. i mean i've never seen anything like this
coming at you with some heat today. I just want to apologize once again. Here we are talking about food. It's all coming we Coming at about. you with some fresh heat. Oh, look at that. It's all we talk about. We didn't film anything else today because oh. today was pretty boring. We just laid around and relaxed. Oh. We have pizza for dinner. And we're taking the girls for some ice cream. Babe, what are you doing? Mike should not be in charge of the camera ever. You guys are gonna think I'm crazy, and to be honest, I don't care, because I am crazy, so we already all knew that, but I've got my pizza attire on. You have to wear pizza to eat pizza, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right, guys, so the poor camera fell in the sand today, and it is just malfunctioning left and right. Why are you making that face? Oh, we're live. <laughs> yeah, we're live. Oh my God. Pig is here chewing her bone. I'm gonna wrap up this video before it completely dies because it would be really <laughs> weird not to say goodbye. Is this gonna, you're gonna show what we did on the beach? Um, I might, I don't know. Some heat. But we were doing something pretty crazy whenever the camera fell. And I might put it Yoga. in. But it'll definitely be on Instagram for sure. Um, I'll probably put it in because I fell like a lot. But anyways, uh, I'm really sad about my camera and uh, we're gonna go get some bros for dinner and enjoy the night, enjoy the rest of our night, enjoy the rest of our vacation. We only have one more day. Sadly. So thank you guys for watching. We had so much fun, didn't we? Absolutely. Thanks for watching us eat all week long. It's our that's favorite all place. we did for you guys. All right, say bye pig. Bye Gisto. Bye guys. Thank <laughs> you.